Hey guys, what's going on? It's I touch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and with me I have the Kindle Fire running the stock version 6.2.2, and today I'm going to show you guys how to root it on a Mac. Uh, now I know there's a lot of PC tutorials out there, and I know there's still a lot of Mac users out there who are who want to know how to do this. Uh, I'm one of them, so I'm going to teach you guys how to do that today. Um, so first off, you can see right here, current version 6.2.2. Uh, it's a pretty much a clean slate. Um, there's just a bunch of cloud cloud documents that have already been pushed onto here. Uh, and to start off, all we need to do is first head into your uh, web browser on your computer. Uh, mine is Firefox, and we want to head to the links down below in the description. The first one is northmendo.com backslash breakdroid backslash downloads. Uh, that again will be down below in the description. And this is the application that we're going to be using. Uh, this application is based off another one known as Kindle Water. Now I've tried to use Kindle Water. I spent a while trying to get it to work for me. Uh, unfortunately it didn't work, but Kindle Water is packaged right into here um, because this is basically like a one... Uh, sort of reading device for multiple devices, including the Galaxy Note uh, and the Droid Razor. But for some reason, the Kindle Water part of this application works for me. Uh, first off, you want to thank the developers about this, so go to the credits. Uh, it's made by North Mendo, J. Case, who uh, developed Burrito Root, uh, the Zurich Rush team, the Revolutionary team, um, Smirkus, and I have to send a special thanks to Step2, that's S-T-E-3-P underscore 2. Uh, he's one of the developers for Kindle Water, and he really helped me out with this when I was having some trouble. Uh, so big shout out to him. If you want to donate to any of them, please do. Uh, they're all on XDA, I believe. So first order of business is to download BreakDroid 0 0.5, 0.4.5, the alpha. Now it is an alpha, but it is actually really stable and runs really smoothly. Uh, I've done this route about four times now just to double check everything, um, and it works great. So just save that file, then drag it to your desktop, and the other file that we need, link again down below in the description, is from box.com, and it is known as ADB Fix. It's uploaded by Steven, uh, and I'm pretty sure that is step two. Um, so uh, thanks to him for this. This will help you guys fix some errors that are pretty common with BreakDroid, uh, and it'll help you get through the rooting process. So once you have those two uh, DMGs on your screen, we can go ahead and bring them over to the center over here and zoom in on them. Double click to open up the BreakDroid DMG, and it should run this right here. And you want to leave this page open and open up BreakDroid and then click open. So it'll bring up a terminal page in one second now. You can quit out of the normal terminal page. We won't need that. You can also minimize this and just stay at the regular terminal page. Next order of business is to just go ahead and plug your Kindle Fire into your computer via micro USB. If I can find this port here and get it in. There we go. And once it comes to the screen right here, all you want to do is hit the disconnect button at the bottom and that'll unmount it from your computer. Then we can go ahead, just set the Kindle Fire off to the side, head back into Terminal real quick, and you'll see a bunch of options. You have a README, which will give you a brief description. It tells you that rooting will void your warranty, which it will. Um, but don't worry, I'll have a tutorial on how to unroot, and that if you want to return to this store, sell it, whatever you want, uh, it'll be okay. Um, the second one is to install the entire Android SDK to your computer if you don't already have it. Uh, I already do, and for this tutorial, we won't need the entire SDK. We just need to install ADB and Fastboot. Um, so, first order of business is just type in the number 3 down below and then hit the enter button. Uh, this will run a script at the bottom of the page that you'll see opening named main tools. Give it a second to open up. It'll actually take quite a while and a pop-up screen will open up and it'll say, uh, do you want to open this file and just click yes. So, give it a second. So here we go, it says main tools is an application from the internet, do you want to open it? Of course we want to open it, and I'll bring up another terminal window. Uh, now this one has six options, the first one is to install a stripped down ADB, second one is to install the full SDK, which we don't want to do. There's also an update SDK and a test ADB. We just need the stripped down ADB because that's all we really need for this tutorial. And just hit one, and it's going to say installing SDK to your home folder. 
and then a link will pop up to download uh, to donate to North Mendo. Uh, I suggest you do. I mean, this is really took a lot of time, and you can see everything's done here. The next step is to just validate that ADB is working properly. So just hit five and hit enter. And if your Kindle Fire, which I'll show you in a second, reboots after that script just runs right here. So you see it turned off. Uh, I didn't press the power button or anything. It's re rebooting by itself. Uh, and we can go ahead, it says it ejected. So as soon as it reboots, just slide to the left. Uh, another pop-up for connecting the computer will pop up. Just click disconnect to unmount one more time. And then we can go ahead and continue on. Uh, so if it rebooted, which mine did, uh, that means it works. If you had an error or something where it did not reboot, I recommend just running the GMG for uh, the ADB fix, and that should solve all your problems. You just open it up, it'll uh, bring up an application, you run it, click continue, and then it should say that you can continue with the root and everything. Um, but that's only if you have an error. So after that, you can just quit out of this, Close, ADB is working properly. We have the uh, stripped down ADB on our computer. Next, we want to boot up Kindle Tools by pressing the 4 button. It'll also, again, run a script, so just give it a second to uh, come up and everything. All right, so this has popped up Kindle Fire Tools. Again, application downloaded from the internet. We want to hit open. And it'll bring up another terminal window. And here, step one is to root the Kindle. You have, again, five options. Uh, this is to install Fire, Fire, Fire. This is to install recovery, and this is to exit fast boot mode if you get stuck in a boot loop or something like that. So we want to go ahead, hit number one, and then hit enter, and just give it a second. It says Damon started successfully. It's a good thing. Now it's just transferring, and uh, just give it a little bit more time. Please run ADB root to enjoy restarting ADB as root. Remount succeeded. You can see over here, we want to just disconnect. And here I usually encounter an error. If you do, again, you want to just go ahead and run the whole ADB fix process there too. Okay, so once it's rebooted, you can just go ahead and slide to unlock on your Kindle. And as we can see here, we have the super user application. You can go ahead and boot it up and that just verifies that the root went all swell. And there we go, we can go ahead back out of there and we're good. Next step is to go ahead and click the 2 button and click install. This is to install Fire 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 Bootloader. So here we go, it's transferring, uh, and then it says transfer succeeded. Uh, now it'll reboot like this, and you can see it's a custom uh, Fire 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 Bootloader. And it says press power button for recovery. Obviously don't do that yet because we don't have the recovery installed. So this will just boot through, it'll boot normally, it'll move away from the screen and I'll come back to you guys in a second. Okay, so once that has finished, you'll be brought back to the startup screen where we can swipe to unlock. One more time, it'll give you this page. Just click the disconnect button uh, and then we can continue from Droid Break. Hold on one second. And there we go. Now we can just press the three button to install the custom recovery, which is clock work mod recovery and uh, I think the Kindle should restart one more time after this is all done running. So we can swipe to unlock and dismiss this one more time. We can actually just unplug this micro USB cable it's done with for now. We can go ahead and shut down the Kindle. Shut it down. And let's put it in landscape for now and power back on. And once you come to this page, hold the power button down until it turns orange, then release, and we should boot up into Clockwork Mod Recovery. All right, guys, so here is Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, we have a bunch of different options here, reboot options. We can install zip from SD card. Uh, we can do everything in this custom recovery. So in the next video, be sure to stay on the lookout for it. Uh, I'll also have an annotation on the screen once it's posted. I'll show you how to flash a custom ROM to this so you can get this thing looking like a real Android tablet. Uh, so 
for the time being guys let's just go ahead and reboot the system now your kindle fire is now 100 percent rooted and uh, everything should be good on it. This has been I Touch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero. If you really like this video, it helped you out a lot, please hit the subscribe button. Check out the rest of my videos on my channel. I have a, a lot of videos like this, including uh, tech news and stuff like that. So, uh, again, I Touch Stuff here, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.